guys, welcome back. My name is Nathan, and today I'm going to be making my 2022 full World Junior Tournament predictions, as well as my gold medal winners for this year's tournament. Now, the 2022 World Juniors are just a few days away, and with the NHL season being paused right now, the World Juniors is really the huge focus right now, as it deserves to be. We are going to see some amazing hockey in this tournament this year, with some absolutely loaded prospects on a bunch of different teams. But who do I see as the best teams in this tournament, what do I see happening in the group stage, and who do I see eventually winning the gold medal in this year's 2022 World Juniors. Make sure you watch till the end for all of the predictions and the full picks, and make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are new. If you haven't, we do a lot of hockey content here, and 55% of you guys are not subscribed, so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you like World Junior and prospect content just like this. But first, we have to predict the group stage for the World Juniors this year, and starting out with Group A, the teams in Group A are Canada, Germany, the Czech Republic, Finland, and Austria. All five of these teams will be battling out to see who gets the best seed and to see where they will be in the tournament. But of course, the obvious has to get underway. And at number one, the best team in the tournament for the group stage at the very least will be Team Canada. I've seen them going undefeated with a 4-0-0 and 0 record, 12 points on the mark, and being the number one seed in the World Juniors. I don't feel like there's much competition besides Finland in that respect. Now, speaking Speaking of Finland, for the second seed in Group A, I see Finland capturing this spot. Even though I do see them losing in regulation against Canada, I see them winning every other game against the Czech Republic. Uh, you got Austria and Germany. I think they'll win those games pretty solidly. Finland, I don't think, is loaded with superstars, and they never truly are besides possibly 2016. But I feel like with Finland, they have a lot of great, solid, under-the-radar players. I think their goaltending and Blumquist will be very, very good. And you got on that defense really solid players like Namula, who have obviously shown in the past to be great world junior players. I don't think they're slouches whatsoever and should always be taken seriously, especially this year. I mean, last year, they snuck up and got bronze out of nowhere, and I feel like teams could maybe, um, maybe, maybe underrate them a bit throughout this tournament. Then going on to number three, talking about underrated, we're going to go to a team that was kind of awful over the last little bit, but I feel like this year has some much more underrated talent in the Czech Republic. I see them getting third in this group stage, having a 1-1-0-2 record, five points on the mark, and honestly, doing pretty decently. I feel like for them, it all really comes down to that defense. Are they going to be able to hold up? But I feel like with that defense, it could actually be a strength. You got guys like Tikacek, you got other players like David Juracek on that defense, who I think could be top 15 picks in this draft. So they have some solid talent there. Just not enough to be an elite team in this tournament though. Now going on to number four in group A, I see this spot landing with Team Germany. Obviously their big stars have left them with Stutzla and Maurice Sider becoming great NHL players. It leaves some to be desired. I feel like the future Germany has already arrived, which means the World Junior team isn't quite as impressive, but you have some players like Florian Elias and Musenberger who can be solid contributors there, just nothing absolutely amazing like they've shown in the past. And now going on to number five in the group stage, it has to be Austria, who I see will have, have four uh, regulation losses, zero points on the mark, unfortunately. They have some decent players like Marco Casper, who I think could be a first-round pick this year, and other interesting players, but again, nothing that really comes together that I think will get any points throughout this tournament, sadly. But ladies and gentlemen, this is where it truly starts to get interesting. Now we go on to the Group B predictions, and this is where it gets extremely close. For the top three in Group B, you have USA, Russia, and Sweden, all three teams who I think are super close in terms of talent level, and I think all three of, the, three of these teams will battle it out a ton throughout the group stage. You also got Slovakia, which is an extremely underrated team in my opinion, and also Switzerland, who will likely be a punching bag, unfortunately, but I think still has some good qualities. But Group B is extremely interesting, especially when it comes to the seeding that we could potentially see. Now, going to the number one team that I see being dominant throughout the group stage, winning every single one of their games, and a team that I don't think is getting enough credit for this upcoming World Juniors, coming in at number one, I predict Team Sweden to get the first seed spots. Now, if you guys don't know, they're a great streak of group stage wins, unfortunately ended last year, but I feel like with that, the pressure's kind of off them to be this perfect team in the group stage. 
and I feel like I've almost helped them in a respect. I see them getting a 3-1-0-0 record, 11 points on the group stage mark, and I feel like with Sweden, they're a really underrated team in this tournament. You have guys like Alexander Holtz, William Eklund, some amazing top-end talents. On the defense, it's honestly an all-star lineup. We've come to expect that with Sweden, but it's amazing. You got Ilya Salyamonson, Helgi Granz, you got other guys like Emil Andre who can be really solid contributors, and then the goaltending is possibly the best in this tournament with Jesper, uh, Jesper Wallstad there and just absolutely elites. You have other options like Callie Kling as well from the Pittsburgh Penguins, but I feel like for Sweden, the entire team has so much potential and I feel like they'll unlock it quite a bit throughout this tournament. Then going on to number two in the Group B seeding, I see this spot landing with Team USA. Now, although the US don't have amazing star power, especially in the four group, I feel like they're still kind of getting underrated. You have Matty Beniers, who I still think is the best prospect from the 2021 draft. You have other great prospects as well, like Chaz Lucius and Sasha Postajov, who can fill in when it comes to the scoring. That defense might be one of the best in the entire tournament. I think up there with Team Sweden, you got Jake Sanderson, you got other great players like Brock Favor, who can just change and, and get the puck out of their zone so efficiently. I think when it comes to skating and when it comes to puck movement, USA is by far the best in this tournament, and I think they'll use that quite well. And then the goal sitting with Drew Camesso, I think is going to be pretty underrated, and I feel like for the US, that'll be a strength as well. I don't think anybody should slouch on this US team, and I think they're going to work as hard as they can, which will mean some pretty big wins throughout the group stage at least. Then going on to number three in seeding, I see this spot being Russia's spot to land in. I feel like they'll get a 2-0-0 and two record, six points on the tournament group stage, and I feel like with Russia, it really all comes down to Yaroslav Askarov. He hasn't been elite and generational in the world juniors like some might have expected, although that's not a big problem for me long term. It is a problem world junior wise for Russia, and I feel like they'll need Yaskarov to be the MVP of this tournament. I don't think he'll quite be that, which is why I think the group stage will kind of be a struggle for the Russians, but I do think when it comes to the forward group, you still have some great options there, but again, Yaskarov will have to be leaned upon for Russia to do anything of note throughout this tournament. Then going on to number four, you guys know, some of you guys know how much I love this team, but this team, in my opinion, is the most underrated in this entire group stage. Going on to number four, I have Slovakia. If you don't know, Slovakia is actually building something simply sensational. I think they'll get one win against Switzerland, but unfortunately three regulation losses, but I don't think that's much of a problem. I think Slovakia will actually be really good over these next couple of years. You have some great Slovakian prospects like Simone Nemesh. You have other players like Yuri Sofkowski and Philip Mazar who will be amazing forwards in the NHL. You also have coming up in the future, Dalibert Dvorsky, who is going to be one of the best prospects in the 2023 draft. Simply some amazing talent, and I think we'll see that start to really grow this year in the World Juniors. Then going on to the fifth team in Group E, it is Switzerland. I feel like they'll get, I'll, I think they'll get four regulation losses, and unfortunately zero points. You have a couple players who are of interest to me. You got Simone Knack, I guess, but really nothing of note, and unfortunately in that Group B, they'll kind of get destroyed throughout the group stage. But now we can officially get into the tournament part of the World Junior Predictions and start out in the quarterfinals of this year's World Juniors and it starts to get even more interesting everyone because this is where it all comes to matter. First up for the first matchup in the quarterfinals we have Team Sweden versus Team Germany. In this matchup I see it being relatively close but I do see Sweden winning this one 4-1 to one, and Germany eventually losing the grasp of that game and Sweden moving on to the semifinals as expected. Then going on to the next matchup here US versus the Czech Republic. I feel like with this matchup I feel like the Czechs lack of great scoring talent will come to kind of haunt them. I feel like the US will win this one one, three to zero, but I do think the Czech Republic will keep it relatively close throughout the game. Then you have Canada versus Slovakia, and I think a lot of Canadians out there, when it comes to World Juniors and Olympics and everything, kind of expect one random Slovakian goaltender to literally appear out of nowhere and make 60 saves. That will probably happen, but I still see the Canadians winning this game three to one, but I do see Slovakia keeping it close with the talent they have. And then going on to the last quarter final matchup here between Team Finland and Team Russia, and this is easily the closest and best match matchup we have in the quarterfinals. I feel like this one will be an absolute just just bloodbath throughout and I feel like one team will have to come out. It'll go all the way to overtime but I do feel like Finland will win this one, be as sneaky as possible and continue to be underrated Bulldogs winning this one 2-1 in OT and I see Samuel Hellionis being the OT score here, prospect for the LA Kings. But now we get into some even more tense matchups here in the semifinals. We have two matchups here to talk about. 
The first one between Canada and Finland. This is obviously a uh, World Juniors rematch. I'm not sure the Canadians would love going back to 2019, I believe, is the one that was not great for them. But I do think when it comes to this matchup, Canada would obviously be the favorite, but you cannot count Finland's just tenacity and just overall great depth in terms of the four group, the defense, and everything. Even though I do see it being close, I do see Canada eventually winning this 3-2 and winning it in regulation. And then we go on to, in my opinion, possibly the best matchup outside the gold medal game in Sweden versus the USA. And this, to me, if we're talking about bloodbaths, this would definitely be a bloodbath. But to me, this one will go into a shootout. It'll be a pretty high-scoring game, but I do see Sweden winning it in a shootout 4-3 to three, and moving on to the gold medal game. In my opinion, when it comes to Sweden, I feel like that goal team will be a bigger advantage for them compared to the U.S. And the defense is pretty close, as well as the forward group, I think, to potentially make some damage there against the, you know, against the Americans. To me, even though I'm an American, I want to see the U.S. win a matchup like this. I feel like Sweden is just so underratedly strong, and I think they'll maybe catch U.S. off guard, perhaps, throughout this tournament, both in the group stage and in the tournament as well. But now, we go on to the bronze medal game between the U.S. and Team Finland, and this is a matchup that I could honestly go back and forth on. With Finland's tenacity and great ability to get any medal possible, I feel like Finland's going to be a tough matchup, but the U.S. should still win this. In the end, though, I actually see the U.S. winning this game 2-0, to zero, and I do see Finland's lack of great top-end scoring being a big problem for that. I think Finland should still be proud to be in this position, but I do see them unfortunately losing in the bronze medal game. But we now go on to all of the marbles, all of the big ones here with the gold medal game, the most important game of the entire world, juniors, between Team Canada and Team Sweden. And these two teams obviously hate each other, have some pretty big uh, rivalries and history when it comes to this matchup as well. And this matchup, in my opinion, is the two best teams in the world, juniors. Canada, I think, is the favorite, while Team Sweden is the underrated, amazing team that could do some amazing damage, I think, throughout the tourney. But I do feel like, even though Canada has the great advantage in terms of on-paper play, I do think Sweden's gonna keep this really, really close. And I actually do see this game going to overtime. But in the end, the goal medal winning goal, the golden goal, I think, will go to Cole Perfetti, and I feel like the Canadians will win the gold medal in the 2022 World Juniors, and Canada will win over Team Sweden in overtime to win the gold medal at the 2022 World Juniors. It's going to be an amazing game. I feel like it'll go all the way down to the end, but Cole Perfetti sneaking right through the left side, cutting all the way in, and scoring by himself will be how this tournament ends, and Canada will get their revenge, uh, hopefully winning in, in the gold medal game for them, and will will get it done this season. With the best team in the tournament, I think they'll get it done, unlike last year. And even though, as a U.S. fan, I would probably want to see Sweden win this matchup as kind of an underdog pick, I feel like Canada is just going to be too strong, and especially if it goes to overtime, Cole Perfetti will end up getting it done and will be the golden goal and the hero for Team Canada. Now, I have some other predictions here when it comes to the best forwards, defensemen, and some other picks. When it comes to the best forward of this tournament, I feel like it will be Cole Perfetti. Obviously, the golden goal helps, but I feel like he'll be a monster throughout this tournament. And let's say they play, let's say they play seven games, for instance. I feel like Cole Perfetti will get around 12 to 13 points, being a monster and being a consistent monster at that. Next up, the best defenseman award of the tournament. I feel like this will go to USA defenseman and sends prospect Jake Sanderson. He was okay at the World Juniors last year, but I feel like he'll be one of the most experienced ones heading into this season, this World Juniors, and I feel like for the U.S., they'll lean on him quite a bit to be that great skating and defensive defenseman that he can be. Then going on to the most underrated player of the tournament, I feel like this will go to Slovakian forward Philip Mazar. He's a guy that I'm pretty high on, but I feel like a lot of uh, he'll turn a lot of heads throughout the World Juniors and be a great scoring machine for the Slovakians. And then going on to the MVP, in my opinion, it'll be Jesper Wallstead. Even though you could make the case for Cole Perfetti here. I feel like Jesper Wallstedt is going to carry the load for Team Sweden throughout this tournament, be an absolute beast throughout the gold medal game too, making upwards of 40, 45 saves, but still not being enough to get the win over Canada. Still being an MVP 
ago and still being the most valuable player. It'll be an amazing tournament and I can't wait to have you guys on this channel. We're going to be streaming every day, making content every single day, so I hope to see you throughout. If you did enjoy this video though, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you haven't already. Comment down below, what do you guys see happening at this year's World Juniors? Where do you see the group stage going? Who do you see winning the gold medal? Who do you see as the most valuable player, the best forward, the best defenseman? Let me know all your thoughts down below. Make sure you share this video with friends, get all the World Junior predictions out there to anybody you guys know, and click on this card for all of my predictions content right on one playlist. My name is Nathan, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.